CBS 46 working to get results tonight for people literally left in the dark. People who get government help paying for their power bill get a brief reprieve from the darkness after we stepped in. CBS 46's Ayana Crystal live tonight. You've been pressing to get answers. Sean, we stepped in, but it's only temporarily. These families tell me that Georgia Power is messing with their livelihoods, and it's not right. These families have received crisis federal assistance, yet their power was still shut off. I woke up this morning and they, my lights were off. But this single mother with seven young kids wasn't the only one. While Tangie Farley was at work, her mother, who has dementia, was at her home with no power this cold morning. She can't be in the house like that. It hurt me so bad. I called Georgia Power this morning and they said the only thing that they could tell me is to call Lahi because they hadn't put the money on the account yet. Farley and her neighbor, Joanna Thomas, needed help paying their Georgia Power bill. So they went to the Fulton Atlanta Community Action Authority to see if they could get assistance through the LIHEAP program. I didn't have no money. Farley and Thomas both received crisis funds from LIHEAP. If I have given you a pledge that I will put $400 on an account, why would you cut that service off? LIHEAP says Georgia Power received the pledge for $400 on both accounts on January 16th, and the check went out on the 24th. I feel like that they are playing with people's lives down there. And it, I mean, it just hurt me. You know, they took another day off my job. Farley missed out on money today to talk to Georgia Power and try to get this resolved, and she said they were rude to her. Georgia Power told me straight up, the lady told me straight up, Man, we're not going to pay it. We're not going to honor this $400 until you uh, pay the $71. As a matter I just, I don't have the $71 right now. These working women are trying to pay their bills, and they were utilizing the federal program to try to get caught up. They're killing us, and they're not killing the rich people. They're killing us. We don't have the money. I reached out to Georgia Power this morning and they sent me a statement about an hour ago saying that they go to great lengths to avoid disconnecting service, but they will disconnect service if they haven't received the funds within 14 days. So where is the $400? Lyheap said they sent the check more than a week ago, yet these residents' accounts have not been credited and Georgia Power has not honored their pledge. That's the latest in Atlanta. Ayanna Crystal, CBS 46 News.